think I've, I experienced anxiety from a really young age and I didn't even notice it. I was just a very stressed kid growing up. I, um, I always took on the weight of everything that was around me. I thought the path to success was to be really harsh on myself and to be really critical. That's the way I grew up and that's the way I thought I could be the best me and I thought that was the most important thing but my priority started to change and now my priority every day is to be the kindest I can be, the happiest I can be, the most at peace I can be. A friend of mine suggested meditation. I remember the first time I tried a guided meditation, I was so upset after 10 seconds, I put my phone down and I said, I'm never doing this again, this is stupid. And then just, I slowly got into it. I remember feeling a way that I never felt before. I felt such like this peace and, and calmness from inside that I, I didn't even know really existed. And I saw how at peace I was and I never wanna go back to a point where I'm not striving to be in a peaceful place. When I first came to the US, I felt very different. I didn't speak English. I came from Israel to uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And that was so drastically different. When I first flew to America, I, um, I had a connection in New York. I mean, I didn't know what Alabama was. I didn't, you know, I didn't even know English. They started questioning me and my ticket said Alabama and they kept asking me, where does your father live? And I said, he lives in New York. And they're like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. And I kept saying, I live in New York. I live, he lives in New York, he lives in New York. And then they brought over someone who speaks Spanish. Cause <laughs> I was so little, I was nine years old. I felt so lost. I felt like I'd done something wrong when I actually think it was just a misunderstanding. But eventually uh, they called my dad and he explained everything and it, it ended up being fine. But I think in that moment you feel like, for me it's, it's sometimes my anxiety comes from guilt where I feel guilty, like I had I'd done something wrong. And in that scenario, I, I didn't do anything wrong, but I felt so anxious because I felt like I was in trouble and I felt like I disappointed someone. So of course I had a lot of troubles at first. I think as a kid, all you want to do is be like the other kids. I hated that my name was Odea. I was like, I wanna change it to Stephanie. I wanna be American. I want, you know, don't want this curly hair. I don't wanna be so foreign and weird. My dad didn't allow me to watch Israeli TV because he wanted me to learn English. And that was a really good thing because I learned English so fast. I would watch so much uh, That's So Raven and Hannah Montana and whatever. And I, I think just by uh, watching all those shows, I, I also became more familiar the American culture. My advice for anyone who's struggling with anxiety, it's very important to understand where the anxiety comes from. Sometimes you will have negative thoughts and you, there's nothing you can do to control those but what you can control is not going down that spiral stop it before it gets bad uh you know have affirmations already set up if you're worried about anything you can always say i trust the process of life um you can say i am perfect whole and complete i think something that's important to remember during this pandemic is that everybody is feeling stress from it uncertainty with our health with our family's health with our financial situation with our school with our work i think just accepting the fact that there's going to be uncertainty and accepting the fact that you cannot predict the future don't be so hard on yourself and know that sometimes things don't go exactly as you want them and exactly as you plan them and it's okay they will always work out the way they're supposed to if you're a good person if you do the right thing and you say your truth, that's all you can do and the rest will work itself out.